Hello, welcome to the tutorial on using TX70S as a Profinet slate. Okay, so we're going to start off by trying to use our PC as a PLC. Uh, but firstly, make sure your PLC is able to make a Profinet connection. If you have not done so, uh, you can follow the guide that in the previous video. Okay, links will be down below. Now we're going to create a now we're going to create a device tree for the master. Okay. PF device one. Gonna add our PC inside. Okay. And then and then gonna add test to Ethernet. We we'll use the one from the more recent version. Okay. We'll add it as a controller. And we're gonna add Codices Profinet device. Okay. So close. So we're going to configure the Ethernet. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, first we need to connect our PLC. Firstly, make sure your PLC is running. Mine is already running. Scan. Okay. Go to Ethernet. Google. PM controller. Make sure they are in the same subnet. Okay. This one also. Okay, so now that's about all. Let me try running this first. Okay, no problem adding it in. Okay, so now walk out. I'm gonna add our second device, which is our TX70 slave. So, Ethernet, over here, there's an Ethernet adapter, haha, <laughs> we're going to try adding this in. And you see, it. this Ethernet adapter will only allow you to add it as a Profinet master. So, this is not the one we want. So, which one do we want? That device. Okay, we're going to display all version. We want the Ethernet adapter from the 3S. So if you go down over here, it allows you to be a Profinet device. We're going to choose the one Profinet policy device. Okay. So, okay. So now we're going to configure the input output. We'll test with one input and one output. Take note that the order at which you add it over here on the slave must match the one you add on top for the master. Okay. So we're gonna add input first and then output. Okay. So now besides this, another thing you need to match is your IT address. Oh, I'll connect it again. So we we'll scan for the network. Connect it up. Take note of the IP address. It must be the same as the one you configured on the Profinet device. Okay, because your TX70S doesn't allow IP changes due to Profinet. Another thing, you need to change the name. No, you need to make sure that this name, make sure that this name is the same as the name in the Profinet device. So go to prof project parameters, change it, and save. Okay, so we're going to try uploading it to the PLC first. Okay. And then now to 
the KX70. Okay. So now, oh, now you notice that everything is running, but you can see that there is an orange circle. So this orange O actually means that the device is running in a trial mode. Okay. So why is it in a trial mode? That's because it. We did not add the US the Profinet device license into the TX70 flame over here. Okay. So over here I have a codices key, right? That's up there is with the Profinet device license installed. Okay. So I'm gonna load it into the USB drive. Just need to simply stick it into the USB drive, okay? And it will do. Okay. So now, how do you actually get this codices key? Yeah, I'll leave the instructions into the comments below as well. So please check it out. So now, after you install the, the, the dongle, okay, we're gonna re-upload the device itself. So let me make some changes so that it will install itself inside okay. okay so i'm gonna upload it in again download the new project and run and you'll see that if all goes so well, uh, this guy will turn green. Okay, so now the connection is established. Uh, we're going to add in some application code to show that it's working. So let me work out for now. For both devices. Okay, so I'm going to quickly add the project in. Okay, so... I'm gonna, eh, eh. I'm gonna add object, add the, add the program. Let's see, TX view. So, and we're gonna add a global variable. TX VBL. Okay. I'm gonna create two variables. Okay for the input and the output. So how do you configure the input and output? So take note that when communicating, the master will send the output to the slave and receive input from the slave. And for the slave, is the slave will re receive the output variables from the master and send the input variables to the slave and to the master, okay? So, input to master okay make sure your data type is the same as the one that you're sending it to output to master okay and then we're gonna configure it in Find it. Input to master and output to master. Okay. And we're going to instantiate this variable TXGVL. So now on to the master. So on the master, I'm gonna add t-shirt.
input from slave output to slave And I'm find it. Input. Output. And okay. Time to instantiate it in eight port. Okay, so now there's one more thing we need to add. Last thing, we're gonna add the task to run the POU. And over here, we're gonna add the task to the POU. Okay, so that's about, that should do it. Now, I'll look to the master. Run. And upload to the slave. And run. Okay, so now let's let me clean away all this and then we'll look at the POU from the slate. Okay, so you can see zero zero. So let me send our input to the master one two three. Okay, now for the fun of it, we will try to send one two three as well in the output. Okay, then right. Ah. So input goes to master, one, two, three. Output is zero. Why is it zero? That's because on the, my master side, my master side is outputting zero to the slave. And I'm receiving input one, two, three from the slave itself. Okay. So just to test it out, let me output something to the slave. Let's try four, four, four. Okay. And then to the there's a lucky number. We'll try to change the input to the slave just for the fun of it. Lucky number 888. Hopefully it works. Okay. And then, uh, right. Aye. Okay. So the input is still is not unchanged because you can't touch the slave input. Okay. And output slave 444. And let me check the slave side. Yes. The output from the master is 444. So, uh, no, sorry, the name is wrong. <laughs> okay, so that's about all for the for the tutorial. You can see that the master and the slave is communicating through the input and the output. Okay, so in summary, yeah. So in summary, just follow the steps they have laid out just now, and just take note to make sure the name is the name is the same. The IP is the same and when using the Ethernet, remember to use the Ethernet by 3S software. Okay. And that's about all. Have a good day.